Thank you so much for the, uh, for the panel. I, uh, I'm going to talk about a novel approach to uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm with the use of a new device called uh, Endologix Neelix. Um, uh, we have a patient, a uh, 60-year-old male with a history of enlarging a triple A. Uh, his current uh, infrarenal aneurysm was uh, five centimeter, but we documented that his enlargement were, was more than uh, one centimeter over the past 12 months, which is a criteria for intervention. Uh, his medical history has a uh, history of hypertension, dyslipidemia, and um, uh, he's a long-term long smoker. Uh, blood pressure was 150 over 90, heart rate 70. And apart from uh, pulsatile mass in his epigastric area, otherwise a remarkable physical exam, good peripheral pulsations, relevant labs, uh, hemoglobin 13 and creatinine 1.1. So this is the uh, diagnostic abdominal ortogram showing the uh, uh, infrarenal triple A. And uh, as we can see, there is no extension on the LEX. Um, so uh, the new, this device is actually not approved in the United States yet. It's approved by uh, uh, CE Mark in Europe uh, for the past, I think, three or four years. And we are doing um, a clinical trial in the United States now, and our hospital is part of the uh, um, um, uh, trial. So uh, we basically advance. Uh, uh, it's a simple technique. We advance uh, two um, 035 wires. Uh, guide wires uh, uh, to a subarenal position, and then uh, uh, we advance the uh, uh, Neelix catheter that uh, has the stent uh, to the renal artery level, to the lowest renal artery level. Um, next, you, uh, we, uh, uh, the sheath over the stent is, is retracted to uncover the stent graft on, uh, on both, both uh, devices. Uh, next, we do uh, um, uh, saline uh, balloon exp expansion, uh, uh, straightforward. And uh, th the, the idea of this device is that um, um, it's a sealing system that uh, seals the uh, aneurysmal sac around the uh, the uh, device, which is a new concept and a new a new concept in, in AAA uh, uh, repair. And uh, basically, after we uh, inflate the uh, inflate the um, the, uh, the stent graft with balloon uh, uh, inflation. Um, this every stent here is, is uh, surrounded by an endo bag uh, um, uh, already built in around the stent, and this endo bag is filled with the uh, filled with the polymer, uh, biostable polymer around the uh, stent. So basically, that polymer outside the stent fills the uh, the aneurysmal sac completely and abolish the sac. So there is no uh, space for endo leaks or, or um, and actually it's, a, it's actually a good fixation so, so the, the, the graft doesn't migrate uh, downward or, or upward. So after we deploy the stent and uh, uh, this is the uh, final angiogram. Uh, so the, uh, uh, as, you, as you all know, the current EVAR limitations is, is, is mostly limited by uh, the high rate of secondary interventions. Uh, and one, uh, one meta-analysis, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Meta uh, reported 18-20% uh, um, secondary interventions for endo leaks. And as you know, when you put the, any device in, in those patients, you need uh, uh, long-term uh, lifetime surveillance for with CAT scans or ultrasound, and which could be which could be burdensome financially, and uh, uh, also uh, there is a higher mortality with those endoleaks endo uh, interventions, and 60% um, uh, of those secondary interventions are caused by endoleaks. So the the aim of this device basically is to get rid of all endoleaks uh, by sealing the, the sac around the around the uh, the device. Neelix device is the only EVAR technology that seals a triple A sac and has the potential uh, to eliminate the uh, endoleaks. As you can see, those are the four steps uh, in a simple uh, slide here. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the sac around the uh, device here is filled with the polymer, uh, biostable polymer, and this is the final angiogram. And the uh, sheath that we use is a uh, uh, 16 French sheath, so it's um, actually one of the smallest sheath that, that available for, uh, for uh, uh, EVAR these days. You know, we used, we used to have 22, 22 23, 24 sh uh, sheaths, but this is a very low profile device and uh, you just need at least six millimeter femoral artery uh, or maybe less than that to, to uh, deploy this device on both sides. 
100% aneurysmal exclusion. See if this video can uh, play. We'll skip that. It's just a, a video that uh, um, show the uh, steps. Can you go to the next slide, please? Okay, uh, it's place, so it's good. So as you can see, uh, those are the steps. You uh, here the two uh, stent grafts are, are uh, 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 deployed, and uh, this is basically the component of the graft. You have bilateral uh, balloon expandable uh, stents and polymer. Uh, you put the two wires in the uh, subrenal position, O35 wires. And then you send um, two Neelix catheters to the infrarenal position, and you fix both uh, to the renal, lowest renal artery position. And uh, you retract the uh, sheath around the, uh, around the uh, uh, device all the way, so you expose the stent. And then you use this uh, console to uh, um, inflate the uh, balloon so you can expand the stent and also to inject the polymer uh, afterward. So first you, uh, you, um, you draw the uh, air, so you have a, you have a vacuum uh, um, integrated into bags, and then you uh, inflate, uh, use, the, use the inflation to uh, uh, deploy the stents. Uh, there are balloon expandable stents. And then finally, you uh, work uh, to inject the polymer around the, uh, the stent graft. So you can uh, uh, fill the uh, sac with the polymer. And this polymer is biostable. It's not harmful. Even if it leaks into the circulation, it doesn't cause any, uh, any anaphylaxis or anything. So it's safe. Uh, and uh, as you can see, this device can also be used to, uh, to work uh, on patients who have aortoiliac um, aneurysm. There is al uh, almost 20% uh, uh, of uh, patients who had a triple A, they have also iliac aneurysm. So this works for both. As you can see here, the, uh, you look at the aorta from above, so you see that the main uh, uh, aorta is now divided into two, uh, divided into two uh, uh, tubes, basically. And now you exclude the whole aneurysm with the uh, with the device. Uh, can you go next, please? So, uh, can you go back one more slide? So this is the biostable polymer. It's a, it's a, um, um, has viscosity of water. It fills the endo bag to seal the sac. It cures in three to five minutes, so it's, uh, it's completely cures in and, and a short time. Consistency of uh, soft pencil uh, eraser. And this, and this is the uh, tool that you use to inject the polymer. You can get this from Home Depot, maybe. And this is the endo bag, uh, uh, how it looks like around the stent. Just for the sake of time, I will uh, uh, skip some slides. Neelix design goals is sim simplify the EVAR procedure, make it uh, very uh, simple steps, very intuitive, uh, small inventory uh, to treat all infrarenal aneurysmal uh, patients. There is no limitation on the neck. Um, and clinical outcome uh, goals was all met by, the, by this device, eliminate secondary intervention and reduce the required patient surveillance. Um, there is a trial of 34 patients, follow up for two years, Overall, 50% implants are uh, outside the indication of other regular EVAR devices, and minimal endo leaks and secondary interventions with first generation device, 100% freedom from uh, uh, triple A rated mortality, no aneurysm rupture, and no stent graft migration. And this was a strong physician feedback. Um, uh, the procedure is simple, as, as I mentioned. Uh, it has limited training uh, required to, to learn this device, uh, opposite to other complicated devices, and. Uh, uh, has a capability of uh, treat wide range of anatomy, short neck, no, no neck at all, 
uh, large, we have a lot of patients who have been turned for, endo, for endovascular repair and go for surgery because they have a small neck or they have a very uh, hostile neck and, and uh, this device can deal with those patients. Large diameter necks too, aneurysm, uh, aneurysm uh, the iliac artery, they can be dealt with in the same procedure, hypogastric preservation, and the uh, expected impact is reduce endo leaks and secondary interventions, and of course it saves money and, and, uh, and uh, radiation exposure, and uh, uh, improve the outcome and widespread adoption. Uh, um, I would like to thank um, my two mentors, Dr. Dr. Krasier and Dr. Neil Strickman, who trained me in peripheral intervention for the last, uh, last 12 months, and we're doing Neelix case here a few months ago. Thank you so much.